Hey there, and welcome to the first ever Raw Talks with Gabi. Before I start talking about this video and how it came to life, let's start with the usual presentation. First of all, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Gabi and I'm very passionate about photography and travels, mostly on a budget. My guess is if you're here, you may be passionate about them too, so why not stick around and leave a subscribe? It does greatly help this channel and it takes you a couple seconds. And if you ever want to change your mind, you can just unsubscribe. What is this video actually about? Well, I think we need to move step by step. First of all, this video idea came up uh, yesterday. Uh, I'm recording on Friday, so um, Thursday night it came, this idea came up to me. I was having this thought process, this all thought process that, by the way, is also the topic of this uh, Raw Talks with Gabby. This is probably going to be the closest type of format to a real podcast that you will be seeing on this channel for, for a while. And well, it's basically a kind of stream of consciousness, very not edited very um, long also like uh, it's it's me talking to you about stuff it's something that you can just listen to most likely because again i won't be doing a very excessive editing besides jump cuts here and there because we all know how my talking skills are <laughs> on the long run so i better do some cuts here and there uh, anyways it's just me talking about stuff and why did this idea just come to me Thursday night. That's an interesting story and that's about today's topic, which is actually creating content versus having to make content. It's it's the eternal struggle between doing what you should do and doing what you would like to do. To give you a more precise context, the whole process that led me to this actual video started from Monday because I was planning to film another Instagram grid challenge and edit with Gabby format videos. And well, I was planning the topic to be light painting. Of course, you could even do light painting during the afternoon or um, at sunset in the, during the golden hour, but, but I just wanted to exploit this excuse of light painting to do a video at night since it's, it's been a while since um, I, I was doing photography at night or I was filming at night. I probably never been filming at night before. So it was, it was a great excuse for me to, to do so. And well, I did even start to shoot this Instagram grid challenge, but I noticed something. What I noticed is that I was overly stressed about it. In Italy, at the moment of filming that video, and also now uh, for the whole week, there is a curfew. And a curfew allows you to stay out until 11 p.m. and not, not over that, unless you want to risk to get a fine, which I, I don't. <laughs> so basically what I've been trying to do was to get out on Monday thinking, okay, in a couple hours, like from 9 to 11, I can film my video. And uh, by filming my video, I meant that I had to do the video shooting and I had to do the photo shooting. If you know how the Instagram grid challenge works, you'll know that First, I'm taking the picture and therefore understanding myself how I'm taking that picture. And then I am explaining to you guys how I did take it. And well, um, that proved to be a very stressing sort of situation because I, I was there trying to crack shot after shot. And it, for the videos, it's fine because uh, you need to repeat a sentence until it, it works. For the pics though, I wanted to take my time because I wanted to get proper results since it's probably pictures that will end up on my Instagram feed and I, I want to take care of it uh, for as much as it seems weird looking at my Instagram feed, but I, I want to take care of it. So the first night on Monday, I went out and I cranked on the video and I did it, but I just got two pictures out of three, which is all right. I mean, back in Monday, I was thinking, okay, uh, I have a whole week until Friday for I post this video. There's actually no problem if tomorrow or Wednesday I do uh, another photo shoot and I do other pictures. It's all right, but still I was rushing a lot because I wanted to force myself to produce content quickly and make it work and force myself to make it work. It was a very weird situation because most times it works for me. This time it didn't really work. Anyways, moving on to Tuesday, I did the same. I, I went out, I did some video and photo shooting. I got some results that Again, I was not happy with because um, I was always looking at the clock and I was always worrying about the curfew and about time. And therefore I didn't allow myself to experiment much with the, with the pictures since I didn't really have a concept for my light painting pictures. So I was basically experimenting and seeing what it worked, what it didn't. And just, just, I was basically just playing with light and that's the fun part of light painting. And I was basically taking out that fun part for, for myself 
by myself actually. Then Wednesday I finally realized that both looking back at videos and pictures, I just didn't like them. Even even editing wouldn't save me from not liking them. So so I, what I decided was okay. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> I'm just deleting all the footage. I'm just uh, keeping the pictures, but I'm not even gonna edit them. This is a project that will need its time and. I gave up on it for now since there is a curfew. Of course, as soon as it's lifted, I will gladly take it on because I love light painting and I love to experiment with it. But I will have to organize myself better. Yeah, it, it ended up like that. I just basically wasted two nights to, to, to do a video that I then ended up deleting. It happens. I mean, I, I consciously decided that uh, instead of putting out something I'm not happy with, I just won't put it out. I don't really regret this choice. Besides the, the waste of time, but uh, how could I know, right? Uh, anyways, I know this is a very long tangent, but, but this was useful to explain the first part of this video's topic, which is should you force yourself to produce content? And to explain the do content that you're happy with uh, comes Thursday, yesterday, uh, when I woke up to no internet connection and therefore I couldn't be working. So at some point I just decided, okay, you know what, I'll just grab my bike and have a cycle around and, and take my camera with me. Uh, I ended up taking some random pics that I did actually enjoy so much taking and I, I did enjoy aesthetically as well. So it, it was very weird. And while I was cycling home, it made me realize that this is a very cool topic that uh, people is not always talking about that is like forcing yourself versus doing what you want um, concerning the topic of content production. Then I just posted an Instagram reel, this one here, if you if you want to check it out, in where I started to introduce this idea and these thoughts and this topic. But then yesterday night, I, I was thinking Friday today for me and yesterday for you, I will not be posting a video. I should, you know, maybe think of some other video that I could film and, and post for Friday. Unfortunately, Yesterday, as you see, there, there was no video because, because well, I'm filming this on Friday and I will still be doing a little editing. So I will probably not be able to post it Friday and I will post it what's today for you, which is Saturday. Basically, my week went a little like this. For two days, I wasted my time trying to force myself and produce a content that I ended up not liking. And then in one single afternoon, when I was forced to, to, to enjoy <laughs> my time out because I, I couldn't work. I ended up producing some content and I ended up being creative and ended up liking the content I was producing. Even if for now it's just a crappy reel and, and some pictures that I still have to edit. That really struck me and made me want to talk about this because, because for me it's not always like you should never force yourself producing content. Most times for me actually I have to sit down and tell myself, okay, make this content, be it a picture, be it a video, be it whatever kind of content. Make it, because then you will be happy with it. And nine out of 10 times when I do this, when I make this first step of being like, okay, I will produce this content, then I end up liking the content that I make. Uh, but sometimes it happens that you just need to do what you want and do what you feel like doing, because you'll eventually end up not enjoying what you're doing anymore. This ties really well with the old burning out on social media producing content topic. And I mean, I'm not burned out by any stretch of the imagination, but still I realized that, well, maybe sometimes I don't need to force myself in producing content and I just need to allow myself to, to, to produce content when I feel like I'm creative and I want to, you know, I have this moment where I'm like, okay, this is the right time to go out and take pictures and this is the right moment to go out and shoot a video. To me, in this whole process of being a content creator that I'm starting and try to, to be, the most important thing has been to having fun with making the content. Although I'm forcing myself, I know that this might seem a little incoherent because at times I will need to force myself and I will also enjoy what I'm doing even though I've been forcing myself for the first step, being like, okay, do it. And at times I will not. I know that since this video is not a script, it's going to be a big mess of, of me trying to uh, reason with you guys and, and trying to explain myself like, like I was a witness on a, on a process, but um, yeah, it's fine. So yeah, this is a bit of my stream of consciousness right now and I'd be happy to understand your opinion as well because um, this could, I think, could create a very healthy and, 
a nice discussion on the comments if, if you want. I, I'd like to know your opinions about this. Like, are you the kind of person that has to force himself or herself to, to do something and then once you do it, you enjoy it? Or you're the kind of guy that if, if you force yourself, you just can't produce anything that you're happy with? It's, um, it's, it's interesting to me, I don't know. And it's also interesting to understand the process you go through because it might be different for each and every one of us. Like nine out of 10 times, I will be forcing myself and telling me, okay, today you go out, you go to this place and you film this video. You don't know it yet, but you're gonna have fun. <laughs> and I will end up having fun. That one time out of 10, which has been this week apparently, that didn't happen and I had to realize it by not having internet, enjoying uh, afternoon out. Uh, uh, that, that's how it went. If I had to think about advantages and disadvantages both of um, having to force yourself and having to wait for your creativity to kick in, well, I'd say that in the first case, when you have to force yourself, there is the advantages are that you are doing stuff, trying to be disciplined, and that will help you grow. Consistency and, and discipline are definitely important values that will help you grow on the long run, I believe. At least that's my opinion. You you can tell me what, what's yours down, down in the comments. I know that I sound spammy, it's just, it's just like this. So the advantage is that you're producing content on probably on a regular basis. Like in my case, I force myself, but I don't force myself to overproduce content, at least for me because for, for someone else, producing two videos a week might be too much already. And for someone else, again, producing seven videos a week, one post every day on, on Instagram, TikTok Reels might be easier and more streamlined and it won't feel it as much as I do. Like um, I'm happy with two videos a week, a couple reels and three posts on Instagram. It, it works fine, but uh, for, for some other people, it could be too much or too less to, to, to feel the burn. <laughs> but of course it comes with disadvantages that are those days when you, even though you force yourself, the creativity doesn't pop out and maybe you're stressed because of external reasons like the curfew and using the light painting example, and maybe you, you have to still plan your pictures and experiment for them. So the old time is running out, is pressing on you and stressing you and, and doesn't allow the creative juices to, to spread on your brain. Most times to me, there is more advantages rather than um, disadvantages to, to forcing a bit yourself. It's not like, okay, today I'm sick, I have to go and, and absolutely run 10 miles and make a video about me running. I mean, uh, you, you have to force yourself with, with common sense. <laughs> you have to do everything with common sense. So forcing yourself in doing content is, is the same. On the other side, there is advantages as well on just allowing yourself to be creative whenever you feel like being creative. And those are that you do feel the time completely differently. And um, maybe you, you, you will be spending an afternoon and feel like it's been 30 minutes taking pictures that you enjoyed. You will be enjoying right away the results of your work. And maybe even your content would feel more genuine in a way, but I don't know, like, uh, as I was saying, producing content has also to be uh, a bit fun for who's producing the content. So talking about myself, if I was not happy with the content I was making by forcing myself to make some content, <laughs> I would have ended up Instagram and, and YouTube a long time ago. So there's that. Of course, the disadvantage is that again, for my what my opinion is, you should be consistent with what you do if you're trying to do it as a career or if you're trying to be um, serious with it, you know, kind of professional with it. And of course you could tell me, yeah, I feel creative like once every week and I, I could, you know, produce that much content in one day. Uh, yeah, you could. I mean, there, there's nothing wrong with it, but for my personal experience, it's not something you can't control. Like if today, right now I feel inspired, I will just stop the video and, and go do something that inspires me more than doing this video, which by the way, I'm pretty inspired to do this video. It was um, a, a midnight dream and a midnight idea to, to, to film this video, which I'm pretty happy with. Although, again, as I was saying, I'm happy with what I'm doing with this video. Although the quality might be very questionable because, well, my talking, the, the old setup, the old editing, the old thing might not be the best quality, but it's something that I'm happy with and, and it's something that I could manage to put out even though it was a day late. I am enjoying to do this video way more than, than the light painting one. I'm not rushing it and 
I'm taking my time to, to say what I want to say and um, I should also check if I'm still recording by the way. This video again comes from the I'm doing what I feel inspired to do part of the of the argument but I mean if today I wasn't inspired to make it I would have probably wrote down the idea and forced myself into into talking about it because it's a good one and it's uh, it, I mean it, it could be a format that ends up you know coming back uh, when whenever there is a chance or whenever there is a topic about it like again it's this kind of sort of podcast ish type content that you know one day turn out to be a real podcast so uh, I mean it's uh, I'm saying I mean I mean so much it's crazy uh, I know uh, sorry <laughs> uh, but yeah Hello there, it's Saturday morning and you know when I was saying oh I should remember to check recording yeah at some point I did not check I was recording and I wasn't so yeah here we are. Thankfully I was pretty much done with my speech and I just missed to record the outro. I guess it's a good excuse to record an even better one. So I hope you guys did enjoy this new type of format and uh, if you did, if you have any suggestions, if you have ideas, something that I could talk about and um, you know, how, how could we transform this into a real podcast? I, I would be happy to, to hear those, uh, those, those um, subject. subject. Those ideas, those ideas. But yeah, you know how the drill goes. If you were happy with this video, remember to like, subscribe and share with your friends. If you enjoyed it, of course. By the way, last, <laughs> last thought before I leave you. I know that this sentence has some grammar issues. At least I'm starting to realize that um, it's, it's been a while. I know. Uh, anyways, <laughs> but I mean, it's our ritual. It's our out of grammar ritual. Um, so yeah, bye, see you.